I won't explain what the pandemic is, as I'm sure most of you watching have lived through it, and whether you recognize it or not, it was a very pivotal part in a lot of things involving our lives. From things like how we socialize, to our wearies with sanitation, to how much of our gas tank we fill up in one trip to the pumps, to even how we use the internet. Before the pandemic, TikTok was a place where people were still trying to figure themselves out and what they wanted to post. You'd see memes where people made fun of each other, but it was never really anything crazy. Sometimes a person would post an embarrassing video and whatnot, M most times end up taking a video like that down. Fast forward to now, being locked up and being online more has blended the line of how we act online and how we act in person. People are always filming, and they will film anything or say anything for views or likes. Myself included. And these people are ballsy. They're confident in just posting utter <laughs> You know? The internet went from 2019 going on a date to get breakfast and hoping you didn't eat your eggs like a slob and that she wants a second date, to 2024, just waltzing in that fucking cafe, slamming your balls on the damn table and going, would you like your egg scrambled, bitch? Don't get me wrong, I love this age of memes in the internet culture, but when you compare it to the past, it's buck wild. Not to say that it wasn't bad before, but people usually did not act the way they did online as they did in person. With exceptions, obviously. Also, sidebar, do you think Instagram comments always looked like this? Nice, what'd you build, buddy? Uh, Anyways, here's a couple of TikToks that were created, you know, post-pandemic that it kind of just made me want to kick a fucking field goal with the bucket. So the first one that actually immediately comes to mind is a video I saw about two years ago on my For You page of this woman in the hospital with her newborn baby who is severely ill and she is doing a TikTok dance right next to him. Which is crazy because this baby is just laying here motionless, clinging on to dear life. And the mom is just standing there going, Right foot, creep, mm, walking with the heat of, uh, uh, whip. There was like even a few people that were defending this, being like, Oh, it's a trauma response, you know, people take out their- I get being traumatized if your baby is like on the verge of death. But in no universe are you like, Dog, my baby's gonna die. Well, there's only one thing you can do, ma'am. And that's- Wobble, baby, wobble, baby. Hello. Another example of someone just being straight ballsy on TikTok is this video of a guy trying to show off a pickup line. And, and granted, when he continues talking, he's like, ah, it's just a little funny. But like, it's still such a ballsy thing to post. If a girl looks at you, walk up to her and say, hey, do you always stare down charming, dangerous men? Or is it just me? Does anyone expect that to work in any universe? If you walk up to a woman and you go, hey, woman, I'm dangerous. You're getting pepper sprayed. But given the circumstances of the situation, I feel like he would get pepper sprayed and go, Psst, uh, uh. Psst. you're on the squirt squad. It's not even like it always has to be a ballsy video either. There is just utter shit on TikTok. Like videos that I've seen them and you're like, how in the world does this have 500,000 likes? There's a video and granted, this is this guy's content. I'm not dogging on it, but all he does is cut a Domino's oh cake into three pieces and then just freak the fuck out. And every time I see it, it gets like 500,000 likes. And it's not even that it's just him. There's so many people that do this. I mean, people used to shit on five minute crafts for having stupid life hacks, but at least they completed them. You'll see videos where people will be like, oh, look at this life hack. And they'll put a piece of tape on a microwave and then just cut to the next video. There's no life hack. Not to mention all of the movie clips that are subtitled, voiceovered, so with, with Subway dude, Surfer's gameplay going on, plus someone, someone playing with their discharge or whatever all below it. And it's like, do you really need all of this? I mean, other people have definitely pointed out, but how are our attention spans this bad? That Because there was like a year where content like this thrived on TikTok. The last one I really wish was cringe bait, but I'm like 99% sure it's real, is this video of a guy, presumably a teenager, sitting around a bunch of girls, also presumably teenagers, and while lip syncing the song, he proceeds to do, I guess what is supposed to be, the motion someone would do when fingering a woman. But what is this? You get, you get around the bad bitches for five seconds, and you start doing cosplay hands. That looks like a dead fish flopping on a dock. It looks like you're trying to cast a spell with your bare hands. Wingardium Squirtiosa. <laughs> what is it with me and squirting today? I'm like a squirt soldier today. Anyways, to save myself from cringing further at like any of these videos, I, I feel like I might have somewhat gotten a point across. If you guys don't agree with me, that's completely fine. If you have any opinions on the subject, you know, feel free to let me know. I'd be happy to hear about them in the comments. Just, you know, be respectful and all of that. But... Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to share with a friend because if you enjoyed it, they might also. Uh, don't forget to follow me on my other socials. And without further ado, be good people and...
Peace out. I got me different rollers and I still get to the time, bitch. Shake it to my flow, give it back, cause it's my shit. Put my hands on niggas.